Vamos. Yep. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Half Life. Um. So, there are a couple of things I need to talk about before we get into the game. So, first off, I know I've not uploaded since November third here. It's, but. Well, first of all, I'm not going to make any excuses. I lost motivation. Then I got ill. Then it was Christmas. <laughs> but I decided New Year, fresh start. I do need a fresh start. Um, so, I'm back. And the second thing, I've sort of got prospective routines. So, I'm going to try and upload every Tuesday, every Thursday, and every Sunday. Although I could move the Thursday to Friday. Take sort of every two days. No, hang on. Tuesday, third, so every Tuesday, every Thursday, or Friday. Probably every Thursday. And every Sunday. We'll see. I might change Thursday to Friday. Depending on how I feel. But. I've got to sort of work it around. Well, not. Yeah. And I decided to. Well, start the new year. A new routine. Half life. But it's um. I did look up, I did look up how long it is, but about 12 hours, but for all intents and purposes, I am going in completely blind. There we go. Uh, wait, but do I want that on? I I'll just leave all this on to brighten this up a bit, but aside from that, I think I'll leave all this on default. Right. A D right, okay. Oh, into it. Um, medium, I suppose. Oh, I've got up. I don't know what up link is, but I've got up link. Up link. Yeah, I say completely blind. Um, that's not a good start. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's be hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will. Welcome to the HFV Block Four. Please proceed to the system for use in hazardous environment conditions. Okay, that just kills me. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of the hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it. Welcome to the HEV Mark 4 Protective System for use in hazardous Conditions. Moving around in your HEV suit can be. No, I know that speedruns will beat this game in half an hour, so. They've got a lot of tricks in that. 
first move we will practice in the hazard course is B. Good work. Those two suits can be tricky. Please proceed to the next area. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Move on to the next area. Now we will combine skills. You will... Okay. Good work. You look prepared for the next skill. To get into these pipes, you will have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and continue to press forward. Then jump. Nailed it. Nice job. Uh... Oh, it's a low zone, right. No. Walk directly into the ladder. Look up and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move. The next three jumps keep get trying. Harder each You'll time, get it, but they are quite possible. <clears throat> Don't be surprised if you miss the last one a time or two. If you can make all three in a I missed the first one. Great work. Now there's one more style of jumping you need to learn. Long jumping requires its own charging module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on... Nice job. Start the lift by moving up to the button, looking at it, and pressing the use key. Okay. Now that you're up here, there's only one way down. Find the target on the floor below and do your best to hit it. If you take any damage from the fall, we will administer medical care at the next station. I missed, but all right. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. I'm so used to med kits being... I'm so used to hearing the game instantaneous in games, but that was so strange, but this game I think was made in the 90s if I remember correctly. Right. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. To hold it. Oh. Okay, to that ladder. Ah. These controls are a bit sensitive, aren't they? Okay. Come on. Come on! Jesus Right, this is the easiest of... Right. How did I just... This is ridiculous. Minor fracture detected. Fantastic.
Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, move slowly backward. The box will come along with you. Oh. Oh, that is scary. Finally, if nothing else works, you can try breaking the objects in your path. Make sure you pick up the crowbar, then simply smash your way through the tree. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. Great. Remember your flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you don't need it. Welcome to the Black Mesa Target Range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and advance to the firing station. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. Commencing sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You have completed the Black Mesa target range. Please advance to the next area. Your ATV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. Major fracture detected. Catch your air. You will see the 
blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads-up display, returning to its previous level. You are free to swim on to the end of the course. This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running low on power, step up to any charger and press your use key. Your suit will recharge gradually until the charging unit is completed. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon lighting up. Proximity to radiation activates the Geiger counter and radiation display. Biohazards are also indicated with the luminous icon. Please advance to the next area. This is pretty complex, Rick. Lead a security guard into the next room. Sure. He I'll will let you, you back into the transit system. You must approach. Sure, I'll follow you. Yes, I will follow you if you wish. Access denied. Sure, okay, I'll, I'll wait here. You. Okay, I'll wait here. Sure, I'll follow you. Access denied. Okay. Access I is denied. Sure, I'll follow you. Access is denied. Okay, I'll wait here. Sure, I'll follow you. Lead a security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the transit system. You must approach a guard and press your use key. He will follow you until you face him and press the use key again. Okay, I'll wait here. Sure, I'll follow you. Okay, I'll wait here. Sure, I'll follow you. Okay, I'll wait here. Sure, I'll follow you. Hey, are, are you crazy? crazy? Leave him alone! Okay. Hey, are you crazy? Ah. Leave him alone! Oh, I'm attacking! Lead a security guard into the next room. <laughs> well, that was fun.
Lead a security guard into the next room. Sure, I'll follow you. He will you. let you back into the train. your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your use key again to disengage from the train. Congratulations on completing the Black Mesa Hazard course. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system. Right. Let's go into the actual game. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8... 47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from level 3 dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. This evening at 1900 hours in the level 3 facility. The semi finals for high speed in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruitment division. 
The Black Mesa Research Facility is an equal opportunity in the world. A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Well, Baba don't very long. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Good morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. No, 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 no. I'm not jumping down there. I can save right here. Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Right. Ah, hello, Gordon Freeman. It's good to see you. Those containment parameters are still nominal. Greetings. Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Batman bond would someone is hidden Yo, why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties that... To see you. Good morning, Gordon. Good morning. Are you sure you checked the eigen attenuators? I couldn't even venture a guess. 
Okay. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Hey, catch me later, I'll buy you a beer. Sorry, sir, I've got to stay at my post. Well, this holds up beer then. I believe so. Yeah, okay, it's just here, boy. This is all within theoretical limits. Yes, I'm sure it is. I wonder if I should run that test again. Well, I think gray hair or not. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Greetings! That reminds me of level of Black Mesa topside temperature is 93 degrees. supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago. Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. Can we do this later? Gordon, here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. In the test chamber. Access denied. Aren't you a bit worried no. about that exponential cascade scenario we discussed? It's about to go critical. What the hell is going on with our equipment? It was a member in the first place. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis denied. procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. 
Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. Access denied. I can't say that, although Access I will admit denied. that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Yeah... Right. Why didn't 
Let me get you. I never thought I'd see a resonant cascade, let alone create one. Horton, you're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team will gladly help you. Access denied. Access denied. Look at that. Access, de access denied. With my ah, you've been wounded. Let's try this. Thank you. Well, go over here. Roger that. Let's run like hell.
down, down, down. Walking to the so. Oh, you're coming to do that. Get the hell out of here.
Okay, um, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, so, um, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'll It's really too early to give any thoughts on this thing, but it seems interesting so far. Um, yeah, so, um, hopefully, I'll see you on Thursday. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, commenting and sharing also helps, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.